ಸಹನಾವತು ಸಹನಾಭುನಕ್ತು ಸಹ ವೀರ್ಯ ಕರವಾವಹೈ ತೇಜಸ್ವಿನಧೀತಮಸ್ತು ಮಾವಿದ್ವಿಷಾವಹೈ ಶಾಂತಿ ಶಾಂತಿ shanti hi may the lord protect us may he nourish us may we acquire the capacity to study and understand the scriptures may our study be brilliant and may we not cavil at each other om peace 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 and to us all dear brothers and sisters loving sairam to all of you so we welcome everyone to the satsang of the sri satya sai baba center of arcadia we are continuing our study circle on geeta vahini we are discussing on page 24 which is uh, online page 17 where main thing is where uh, lord krishna is trying to dispel the confusion for arjuna and show him the right path to tread so we summarize couple of main points so first uh, which is the most important shloka swami said when to start with anya yeah, dosha no no it's shloka 11 he said uh-huh. all the, yeah so shloka but seven starts yeah there is seven is the important that is when arjuna says i am confused i don't know what to do so i am your disciple teach me what is good so just tell me what is good i surrender to you so three important points says i don't know i surrender to you because i am your disciple not your friend or brother in law so teach me so but that is why in spirituality surrender is the way it's lord you take then he takes over if you think you you know better then not okay you, you do whatever you want you leave it to us but we need to sincerely pray what is the best and then then that is the time then lord krishna takes over from shloka 11 he says that is what swami said that is the most important shloka for uh, studies sorry students of gita that is he says so you uh, should not grieve there is three four times he says he goes on telling because he knows what most of the problem with life is we worry we grieve we uh, uh, get fearful we get depressed so he says says asochyan anva sochastvam prajnavadam gatasuna gatasuncha nanu sochanti pandita people do not grieve about living or people who are dead there is one time one thing says that means we are grieving that means we still have to work on our spiritual life and second thing also again last then that is why why he gives the explanation because we are atma we are, we are worrying about the anatma he says we are worrying about those people who are dying so they always exist they will exist because atma is something which you cannot kill says which you cannot destroy by the weapons and which you cannot burn by fire which you cannot wet by the water and which you can dry by the air it cannot be affected so it is always there what is there to worry about that is why it beautifully says ಅಭ್ಯಕ್ತಾಧೀನಿ ಭೂತಾನಿ ವ್ಯಕ್ತ ಮಧ್ಯಾನಿ ಭಾರತ ಅಭ್ಯಕ್ತ ನಿಧಾನ ಕಾತತ್ರ ಪ್ರತಿದೇವನ ದಿಸ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಫೋರ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಲ್ಯಾಟರ್ ಆನ್ ಮೈ ಇನ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಯು ಡೋಂಟ್ ನೋ ವಟ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾಪನ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ಗೇವ್ ಟೂ ಬ್ಯೂಟಿಫುಲ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಹೌ ದ ವೇ ಯು ಟು ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಔ ಆತ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಬಾಡಿ ಮೈಂಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಂಟಲೆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಾಡಿ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದ ಚೇಂಜಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಚೈಲ್ಡ್ಹುಡ್ then uh, young adult and their middle age and old age same thing body changes or another example is like old clothes you give away get a new clothes that is where the body changes 
So you are permanent Atma. But then this guy, this um, Arjuna had a doubt. Yeah, Atma, you don't see that, right? Do you see the Atma? We see most of the time body, mind, intellect only. So, because uh, Lord Krishna says last week, we said that people talk about Atma, people hear about Atma, people discuss about Atma, but nobody understands Atma. So he himself was uh, telling. So one logic is, the ultimate truth is, Atma is never can be affected. It is permanent. Nothing can be affected with that. So you are that. Why do you worry? But if you don't even know about that, he comes to the next logic. So that is why he's a great teacher. He goes logic. Even say you don't know Atma. One thing you every day see, the one which is born, he is going to die. That is a fact. So what can you do about it? Something which is inevitable, you have to accept it. So everything, whatever takes birth, that it is a plant, animal, bird, insect, human being, our, even avatars. Everybody has a beginning, he has an end. That is a part of life. When something is born, that is jata sehi dhruvo mutyu. He says it is a law that whatever is born is going to. So again he says, natvam sochi to Amazing, I was looking, so verify there. So he is Shloka 13, is, uh, 30, he says, Natvam Sochi to my face, this Atma is permanent, so don't worry about it. Again, in Shloka um, uh, 28, Abhyakta Dini Bhutani Vyakta Madhyani Bharata, Abhyakta Nidhana Nyeva Katatra. Why do you worry about these things? So, different ways it goes on again, 27, Natvam Sochi to my face. Don't worry, because he shows people are going, going on repeating, don't worry. Again, um, 26, uh, six, naivam chochi to marhasi. So don't go on worrying about it because you are permanent. And then he says, even if you think this is not, you are once it is born, it is going to die. And something which has got, this, you don't know what happened before. Did you know before? But where were you? You don't know. Now we are there in this life. And again, what happens after? That we don't know. So then something which you don't know, past, future, why do you want to worry about it? So live in the present and be happy. So that is what the whole thing is, his message is, nothing to worry about, just be happy. So this is the main message he gave from Shloka 12 to 30. Now from 31, so this is important chapter, Sankhya Yoga, where he teaches, now he talks about the duty, dharma. Each one of us a dharma, how what we should do, how do we do your dharma? From Sloka 31 to 38, Swami call, calls this dharmashtakam. This eight slokas talking about how should we dharma, do dharma. So for every one of us, dharma is important. That is why the whole Bhagavad Gita, the first sloka starts with dharma chetre kuru chetre. First thing, as soon as it is started, the Arjun Vishad Yoga, dharma, this field of action is field of dharma. Kurukshetra. Kurukshetra means where? Do you know Kurukshetra? It is near Delhi. There is a place where they had war. But the real meaning, Kurukshetra. Kuru means action. Kshetra means field. So everybody is involved in Kurukshetra, field of action. Every one of us, from birth to death, the minute you are not active, that means gone. <laughs> so this means something will be active, the breathing, heartbeat. So uh, that was uh, Lord Krishna says another place in Karma Yoga. Nahi kashchit chanam api yatu tishtatya karma krita. Even for a moment, no being cannot be without work. But how you work, that is a secret he is going to tell. But one thing is a fact, everybody is going to work unless you are dead. So he says, how you do the work, that is the whole secret he is uh, uh, telling. So something why, so now he is telling how do we conduct ourselves doing the dharma. That is, uh, because every one of us have a dharma. And the thing, that means the, our swadharma is, what is our swadharma? So depending upon our stage in life. So there are lower dharma, like dharma of fire is to burn. Dharma of water is to wet. So similarly, each one of us, depending upon it, we have gender. If you think about body, the dharma of a gender, like if it's a female body or a male body, depending upon that, our role 
differs like a that is why swami talks about this dharma in dharma vahini mother as a woman so role of mother not only nowadays is only working how to act like a mother and society support the family all this and the man what the yeah. and depend that is one is dharma is bending upon the body and second is depending upon your stage in life you are that is called ashrama dharma that means depending where a child you go to school that is called brahmachari ashrama then then you go to grihastha ashrama then people go up and then you have the householder life but there are blessed people they don't have to go to the uh, householder life they skip they go to one of prasad because all these saints and sages ramakrishna or all the monks they just they don't uh, marry or anything their life they dedicated to uh, god like there is people in even swami's mission i know women and men who they say they don't their focus is only doing god's work that is there are some special chosen people they get that thing krishna also he said he got a dream from swami when he was only in 20s just just gave him a akar rob just uh, do work for me so some people god blesses with that dispassion young age so that is good otherwise tradition most of the people is first brahmacharya ashram you get student life then you have grihastha ashram you get married you have children support that is also needed people in the society need to support the society but next one is vanaprastha ashram where you become recluse it means once you become around 60 years of age swami says you should be conquer all the six uh, inner enemies and just you should be focusing more on god in the old days in the uh, people used to leave everything and go to as a recluse into a uh, cave or a, a forest but swami says you don't need to do that so head in the forest hands in the society still you can do that so thinking about god all the time so more focus is on thinking about god there is a time swami says we should live husband and wife like brother and sister as a spiritual companions how to progress towards realizing god that is the third stage one of prastashram and next is but swami says lot of people are now vanara prastas <laughs> they are all like monkeys they go they have here go they even Oh, that is why you need God's grace. I have seen some of our friends who are telling even in their 70s, 80s, still they want to play cards, go to these clubs, the night shows, this, because there is a vasana. So, but people who are there, hey, it's enough of it. Now, let me turn my mind towards God. So that is one of us. So it should come on that um, stage. And then final thing is, is it uh, okay, Shati? Yeah, sannyasa ashram. That is completely you renunciate. So that people, as I said, monks, they are even at, uh, 18 years old. They become monks, and because they have that dispassion. But there are at least everybody is supposed to be uh, at the end big sannyasa. Even though you have a history in our thing, great kings also gave up their king, like Kulshek Ralwar. He's a great king of recent time, and he just once real says gave away and just. Used to be lead completely uh, uh, dedicated his life to Lord Krishna and do that. So, um, even uh, the, in the you see Mahabharata, Ramayana and all that they give away. You take care now. We'll go for a contemplative life like that. That is what the say. Depending upon our stage in life, that is one uh, thing. That is also our uh, dharma. Then third dharma is is called Varna dharma. That means. In our uh, uh, four castes are there, right? In uh, India, that is the thing. One is Brahmins, then Chetriyas, then Vaishyas, then Shudras. That means Brahmins who are more contemplative, intellectual, thinking about God. Chetriyas, warriors, and Vaishyas, businessmen. Shudras is this unskilled laborer. These are the four things. So. People made it as a by birth. You are like that. People who exploited these people in those days, some Brahmins, and say so that they want to control the society, etc. So, but Lord Krishna says in Gita, Chatur Varna Maya Srishtam Guna Karma Vibhagyo. I created this four uh, caste, depending not on your birth, it be depending on your. actions and your aptitudes 
So you may be in the same family, you may be so-called Brahmin family, you may not know any Vedas, you may not be into scriptures, you may be into all, and you may be born in so-called Chodras, unskilled labor, you may be more contemplative. There are many instances, like Nandanar, he was a uh, and so-called untouchable, and tribal woman, uh, Shabari. There are so many people, but their life is dedicated to God. So that is imp important is, this four is depending on your actions and aptitude. So why that means you are more contemplative by nature, you should think about God and just read scriptures, do spiritual practices, share that God's love and message with all. If you are a Kshatriya quality, then you like people like in the army or people who are the kings and all that, they need fight for the protection of their country and their people. Kshatriyas, they have a role. And same thing by businessmen, you need a lot of business pe people who need to transact for the society, supply the goods and the things. You need business people, they also have a role. And then finally, the labor. So you need, so without labor, you cannot. Uh, uh, do anything, whether you want to do gardening or swimming pool, anything in thing, you need this. So everybody has a role to play in the society. But so that role you should take, that's your dharma, you are born. And as I said, in the same family, there may be two uh, brothers, one may be like Brahmin kind of in a type, and second person may be like just, uh, no, he wants to be doing entrepreneurial business, business people have, they have the aptitude to do, I have seen that, so uh, depending upon uh, what it is. So actually, suddenly I remember interesting, this happened about 35 years ago, we went to a Chinese restaurant here, Panda, Panda, and after the dinner, but that time usually doesn't, they give this fortune cookies. Then I, we open, there is a little thing comes, most of the time it doesn't matter. But that time, amazing, it, each person, it came exactly what uh, we have. So it, my mother, she works always hard, with her muscles of iron and nerves of steel. Mm -hmm. She always, from here, she's never good, always working, working, that is a uh, thing. And for high might came, you always like to give, give things, and you always mm -hmm. uh, give, amazing. And then my brother-in-law, Hari, was there at that time, he was not married. So you love, always want to be with friends and relatives, you. <laughs> I, I couldn't believe that everything uh, matched. Uh, and then uh, for me, it says you are contemplative by nature. He says, yes. And my father, it came, you have good days are coming because just that is the time he decided he wanted to live in the ashram, Prashantinayam. He was going in a week or two. Like that, amazing. Like that, because he, God knows here it happened to be like that. I, what I'm, the reason I'm beginning it is each one of us had particular nature. Some people like to do karma service, some people devotional practices, some jnana path. So there is way each one has the dharma, depending upon attitude, that is um, called varnashrama dharma. Okay, these are all the dharmas, so that is the one, which, that is why now he is going to talk about. You are chetriya dharma, you are born as a chetriya, your duty is protect. So these are all the dharmas, but what is the highest dharma? Uh, Swadharma is Atma Dharma. These are all belong to body, mind, and intellect, which changes. So body changes sometimes, your child sometimes. So that depending on changes, depending upon your attitude changes, depending on your body. But these are already, he said, they're all Anatma. To differentiate Atma versus Anatma, or Nitya, Nitya, Vichyara, all these three are called Nitya, Nitya, Druk, Dushya, Vekam or Nitya Nityamu and the Atma and Atma. So you need to differentiate what is permanent and focus on what is true, which is uh, divine. So, but the highest dharma is Atma Dharma, that is thinking about God. So that's why Swami says, if you want to have joy in life, say Jesus first, others next, yourself last. Or you can say, as yes, you want, Swami first, all others next, that little I last. So we need to give highest priority to God in life. That is what we have to do, really want to have a blissful time. That is the dharma. So now, Lord Krishna talks about this dharma. We are going to talk about, he talks in these seven, eight shlokas, which is very important. First, it looks very simple and straightforward, but there is, we will go to the inner meaning later on. Shloka 31. Swadharma mapi chevetya navikampitu marhasi. 
ಧರ್ಮಾದಿ ಯುದ್ಧ ಚೇಯೋತ್ ಅನ್ಯತ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯಸ್ಯ ನ ವಿದ್ಯತೆ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಸಧರ್ಮ ಯುವರ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಇಟ್ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಯು ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಫೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ರೈಚುಯಸ್ ವಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫೈಟ್ ವಿತ್ ಎವ್ರಿಬಡಿ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ವಾರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಅಧರ್ಮ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಅಂಡ್ ಅಧರ್ಮ ದೋಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಕೌರವಾಸ್ ದೇ ಆಲ್ ಡಿಡ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಅಧರ್ಮಿಕ್ ಆಕ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಯು ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಧರ್ಮ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಎಲಿಮಿನೇಟ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ದೇರ್ ಈಸ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಯುವರ್ ಡ್ಯೂಟಿ ಸೊ ಯು ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ಸೊ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ ಎ ರೈಚುಯಸ್ ವಾರ್ ದಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿಂಗ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ನಥಿಂಗ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಫೈಟಿಂಗ್ ರೈಚುಯಸ್ ವಾರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಫಾರ್ ಎ ವಾರಿಯರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ವಿ ಸೇ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ದ ಫೈಟ್ ಬಿಟ್ವೀನ್ ಡಿಫ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕಂಟ್ರೀಸ್ ವೆನ್ ದೇ ಗೋ ಇನ್ ಟು ದ ವಾರ್ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಥಿಂಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಲೈಫ್ ದ ರಿಯಲ್ ಹೀರೋಸ್ ದೇ ಗಿವ್ ಅಪ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇಟ್ ಮದರ್ ಕಂಟ್ರಿ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದ ಗುಡ್ ಕಾಸ್ ಸೊ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ವೇಸ್ ಯು ಶುಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಗೋ ಬ್ಯಾಕ್ ದೆನ್ ಇಸ್ ಈ ಕಂಟಿನ್ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಸೇಮ್ ಥೀಮ್ ಯದೃಚ್ಛಾಯ ಚೋಪನ್ಯಂ ಸ್ವರ್ಗದ್ವಾರ ಮಪಾವೃತ ಸುಖಿನ ಕ್ಷತ್ರಿಯ ಪಾರ್ಥ ಲಭಂತೆ ಯುದ್ಧ ಮೀದೃಶ್ಯಂ ಸೊ ದಿಸ್ ಚಾನ್ಸ್ ಯು ಗಾಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ದಿಸ್ ವಾರ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಇಫ್ ಯು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ವಾರ್ ಯು ಡೆಫಿನೆಟ್ಲಿ ವಿಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಗುಡ್ನೆಸ್ ಸೊ ಹೀ ಸೇಸ್ ಅಲ್ಟಿಮೇಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಯು ಮೇ ಸಿ ಏ ವಿ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಇನ್ ಎ ವಾರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಬಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವಾಟ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಆಪರ್ಚುನಿಟಿ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ to serve in, uh, the divine so don't back up that you should what whatever challenges you have you need to face them and do your duty so that is what he is telling each one of us dharma and it comes in your thing don't back up because challenges will come difficulties will come whatever you do whichever profession whichever walk of life then that time you need to stand firm so there is the famous quotation in the gita itself for lord uh, swami vivekananda he was fond ಕ್ಲೈಬ್ಯಂ ಮಾಸ್ಮ ಗಮಃ ಪಾರ್ಥ ನೈತತ್ವ ಉಪಯುಜತೆ ಕ್ಷುದ್ರಂ ಹೃದಯ ದೌರ್ಬಲ್ಯಂ ತ್ವಕ್ತೋತ್ತಿಷ್ಟ ಪರಂತಪ ಕ್ಷುದ್ರಂ ಟು ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ವೀಕ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಹಾರ್ಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಡೆಸ್ಪಿಕಬಲ್ ಇಸ್ ಎಸ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ದಟ್ ಸೊ ಉತ್ತಿಷ್ಟ ಪರಂತಪ ಓ ದಿ ಒನ್ ಫೋಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಬ್ಯಾಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಸೊ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ರೈಂಗ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಫ್ಯೂಸ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಬಿಸಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಸೇಸ್ it came you the un, un, unasked the chance came opportunity so just go and fight then you will become happy then he says atachetva mimam dharmyam sangramam na karishyashi tasmat swadharmam kirtincha hitva papam avapsis he is not frightening him says is this this kind of righteous what if you don't fight na karishyashi what will happen you will give you will lose your good name and you, you are uh, discarding your dharma and your papa mavap says you will get you will get sin so he is warning him so you you are uh, you are losing your good name and uh, you are uh, not doing your proper duty and you will get sin so he is warning hey, you better you have opportunities there that make you happy if you don't do that this will happen you will get good name and you will um, um, get sin then same thing akirtan chapi bhutani kathashyanti te abhyayam sambhavati satya kirtir maranadu dichuche then he says even me he makes even more uh, things so that's how the good teacher to strike the point so everybody will talk this guy is not good so when time trouble come he walks away so he will get a bad name he says everybody will think this arjuna is such a great hero he had so many weapons he war upon now when time came for fighting the other this war he backed off he went away he will get a bad name and he says there is nothing it is better to die than get such a bad name that means you are telling anyway you are going to so just don't get that bad name so it is better akityancha maranad adiruchate maranad just death is better than having such bad name so then he same thing he continues bayadranadu vratam asyante dvam maharatah yesham chatama bahumato bhutva yasya se lagava so he was a hero right he was acclaimed by so many people that such a uh, great like he is a maharati he is a great hero to so all those friends of yours people who think you are great a hero then they will say that 
you went away, you are like a coward, you went back from the war, they will think like that. So Maharaji, in like there is a, Maharaji means in, uh, this is those days of uh, people who are warriors, first just single, so like soldier, then he's got Tirati, then Ardharati, then Maharati, uh, there, there are different stages, like we can compare to the uh, army, like a, a soldier, then captain, then major general, then uh, general and commander in chief, like that. So all those people high call because this man is high, such a high caliber. Those people think, hey, we thought he is such a great hero. They will think that uh, you are a coward and uh, went away. Then same thing says, Avachya vadamsya bahun vadishyanti tavahitaha. Nindastava samartyam tato dukkataram kim. So then all your enemies will think this guy is uh, such a bad coward. They will be talking all bad things about you, criticizing you, doing all that. So what is more sorrowful than that? So yes, they will, so that means you'll get, not only they'll criticize you, they will you'll think you are a coward going back. So all the way he's giving justice, why, what? So doing it, this is an opportunity you got. Doing that, you'll be happy. If you do go away from that, you'll get bad name, and you are going away from the dharma, you'll get sin, and people around you will be laugh at you, they will think you are a coward, you are going back. Is this, the, is this what you want? It is better to die rather than get a bad name like that. Then, so now he's telling, 37, Hato va prapsase swargam, this is one of the very commonly quoted shlokas, Hato va prapsase swargam jitva va bochase mahim, Asma Dushtista Kaunte Yudhaya Pratanishcheha. This is very important shloka because say if you die, because in the war you can always die. So if, what, if you die, what happens? You'll go to heaven because you are dying doing in the righteous war. If you win, you are going to rule the uh, earth, right? You are going to rule as a king. So either way is good. If you die, it is good, you'll go to heaven, there you'll enjoy. If you are uh, not die, win the war, you will be ruling as a king. So, that's why even for us, whenever we are having challenges in the doing the, your duty, whatever people criticize, whatever people do, whatever things, you just face it because something happens, then the Lord knows and you will get the ultimate um, uh, heaven or mocha. But if you succeed in your thing, then you are uh, working in the divine mission, whatever it is. So that is what it says. So, tasma dushtista kaunte yudhaya kratanishya. There is important thing for all of us. So, I told you before, uttista, get up. So, that is what even famous in uh, uh, Khatu Upanishad, I told you before also, famous, what is the quotation? Uttishtata jagrata prapya varani bodhita. Very important thing. That is why here also, Lord Krishna goes on bringing it. Uttishtata means get up because most of are lazy, lie down, yeah, postpone. Uttishtata, jagrata, be, not only get up, if you get up and get up and sleepy also, people can storm an ambulance <laughs> and you can be walking. Yeah. Jagrata, you should be aware, awake, uh, arise awake and papya varam, and should not stop till you reach the goal. Some people just get up and you are awake, but you, once you go and the obstacles come, problems come, you give up in the middle. So, but you go till you reach the goal. That is the important. So here he says, Tasmat. So, if you die, you go to heaven. If you are alive, you'll be king. So, get up. Tasmat, you get up. With firm determination, fight the war. That means life, face the challenges, with all the strengths, kruta I mean, with firm determination, not wavering, half wave, oh, can I do this or not? That is why Swami said in Prema Vakini, there are three kinds of people. First kind is, oh, I have to do this particular work, whether it at work in the home or in the organization. Oh my God, it's so difficult, those people won't cooperate, he's on vacation, he's sleeping, they won't be available. So that even before you start, they will tell all the problems which are going. They won't even start because they, they think about obstacles only. And then midlings, they're better people. They said, hey, let us do this. This is a good work. Swami will pay. This is good for society service project or whatever it is, or singing. We'll do it. 
But then some people will give trouble, criticize that you don't have resources, something happens, they give up. But the heroes, are the real ones, once they take up a decision, till they re reach the goal, whatever the challenges, whatever the obstacles, they go till they reach the goal. That shows your strength. Anybody when things are right, everybody thinks when there are obstacles, challenges, how do you face them till you reach the goal? So he says, Sasmat, but so Uttishta, get up and Kutanishya with firm determination for fight the war, that means face the challenges. So this is now he's convincing him how you should go on uh, telling why it is important to fight. Now we make, now this is the even more important shloka, everybody should almost like a mantra remember this. Sukha dukhe same kritva labha labha jaya jaya tato yuddhaya jasya naivam papa mavapsesi. It's like a mantra for me, I used to just whenever it is. So in life he says, get up and fight. How do you do that? You chase Sukha dukhe same kritva, take pleasure and pain, same. Laba labo, profit and loss. Jaya jaya, success and failure. Tato yuddhaya, after the fight, just an ivam papam then you won't get any sin. You're completely uh, devoid of any bondage of karma. Why he is giving these three combinations? These are the things which will happen when we do challenges in life, when you have work at home or in the society, organization, these things will have pleasure and pain. So, because some people will be critical, something, then you will be painful, some people praise you, adore you, get pleasure or some comfort. And same thing with when you do some business or something, will get profit, something you lose. And then same thing is, is some work we are doing, you get sometimes successful and something failure. These are the various normal situations in life, which is pleasure and pain, success and failure, and profit and loss. So in this, it says same kritva, you should think them as equal. And you and you, you die, then you, that, that way you fight in life, the challenges. Means fighting, don't think, that's why Swami said in the beginning itself, Dharma Chetra, Kuru Chetra, we are all in Kuru Chetra. That is the war, which is field of action. I, war doesn't mean because we, the war always goes on in, inside of each one of us. That is between negative and positive something bad you want to do or negative thing, that is like Kauravas. Good you want to do like Pandavas, which is Satya, Dharma, Shanti, Prema, Himsa. There is a five, there is a five, Panchi Pandavas, Satya, truth, right conduct, peace, love and non-violence. All the negative things, Kauravas, like uh, anger, jealousy, pride, attachment, repulsion and all those. So there is a war going on for every one of us. So in this war, how do you do? You do dedicating everything to God, thinking, taking of the duality is the same. Samakutva, that is what, this me, real meaning of samadhi. People think samadhi means going into trance, or, that is one meaning is there. According to Patanjali Yoga Sutras, first is dharana, that is you concentrate, 12 seconds only. Swami says, we second 12 seconds, that shows how our mind is fickle. So 12 seconds, you can just think about one thing, that is dharana. 12 times 12, that is 144 seconds. That means 2 minutes 24 is dhyana. That means your meditation. People think I meditated 1 hour, 2 hours. I don't know what they did. They think they are meditating. If you do for 2 minutes 24 seconds, that is dhyana, 1 unit of dhyana, meditation. You did meditation already. And 12 times that, dhyana is samadhi. 12 times, that means about 30 Minutes, if you continuously in, absorbed in that, you are in the stage, you forgot your body, you are in the samadhi state. That is what the yogis uh, understand. But Swami gave a beautiful meaning. Samadhi is samadhi. Sama means equal-minded in all states. When you are equal-minded in all states, you don't need to do it every time. Throughout the day, you are in samadhi. So how you maintain yourself, the stage of equanimity, that is what Samadhi. So here this is the emphasis, so when you do fight like that, with that kind of attitude, then whatever challenges happen, you, went, you would not get any sin, and you will be really uh, uh, deriving the effect of Nishkama Karma, 
to the fruit. And this is now he ends it. Now he says 39 shlokas. So I'll stop it here for discussion. Eshate abhihato sankhe buddhi yoge tvimam shunu buddhya yukto yaya partha karma bandham prahisesi. So now he says in this shloka study up to now, I taught you sankhe yoga. Sankhe yoga is the philosophy of wisdom where we talk about the high thing. Two things he talked about. One is what is atma and anatma. And second is, what is our dharma? What should we do? He talked about. So, Lord himself, Krishna, is telling, this is Sankhya Yoga. People just think. Then he will go to the uh, Karma Yoga. How do you do the activities without being bound? So, somebody was asking, why this Atma, Anatma? He says, you hear about it, you talk about it, see. But still, we don't know what that is. Because, as we talked in Sutra Vahini, Tato, uh, athato Brahma Jijnasa. After this, only Brahma Jijnasa. We need to get rid of the obstacles for that. Because there are three main obstacles we talked about before. Anybody? One is Mala. Another is Vichepana. Another is Avarana. So, like Mala is impurities. We have impurities. That is why we cannot see. Another is Vichepana. Always mind agitates. And third is ignorance. These are the reasons... We cannot see the truth, even though there is truth. The best example, they say, is go to a lake. You go to a lake, be nice, uh, beautiful lake. But that lake, the think that lake is comparable to our heart. And you want to see your reflection. If it is a pure water, no waves, nothing covering, you can see your beautiful reflection there, right? So similarly, when your, our heart are pure, Blessed are the pure in heart, which you will see God and no agitation of the mind. And you're calm, then you'll see. But most of us, one thing is, see that lake, it is got a lot of dirt in that thing. So then you can't see your reflection well. A lot of too many waves going on there. So just that your, your image will be fluctuating, right? And fourth is it's covered, say, with the algae or moss or something like that. You can't see that. So that is the beautiful comparison, mala, avarna. That means if there are impurities, you can't see your image clearly. And then vichepana, a lot of waves are happening, you can't see. And avarna is, that is covered by mass, which is ignorance. Similarly for us, the impurities, like, like desire, anger, greed, attachment, jealousy, and pride. These are the various things. These are all kinds of impurities. When you have, you can't see the reflection. So how do you get rid of these impurities? This mala, they say, scripture say, you can get through karma yoga, selfless service. When you do selfless service, chittasya shuddha ye karmanaha. That is what Lord Krishna says and scripture say. To purify the heart, one of the best is doing selfless service. With selfless service, you get rid of your ego and you get rid of the attachment. So get rid of the mala, you need to do the selfless service. Second is we shape and always our mind is here, jumps there, jumps here. So that is that is like the waves, the uh, going through the water. How do you control this? Then for that is bhakti yoga. Just constantly sing your bhajans, do the japa, do meditation. Constantly focus one pointed focus on God. Just just one object, either Om or the name of a God. You do that. That is the process of the uh, bhakti yoga. So for the, this will control with shepana. And then avarana. Avarana is completely covered. So you don't know a uh, thing. So how do you get rid of that? To the path of jnana. Who am I? That is why I said, who am I? You find out, I am I. So that is the ultimately realized. For that, the path of self-enquiry, jnana yoga. So this is the way, once you get, then we have a perception. We know what is really Atma. So these are the reason why we, even though we hear every day, we don't do, but there's a path. That is why in, in, in our centers also, Swami introduced to all the three wings. One is service wing, where we go and do service to the needy, provide food, water, shelter, and education, health services to the people in need. Any part, all of this part of uh, spiritual service organization. Second is we have devotional activities where we sing bhajans, where we do meditation, we do the japa, we do the gayatri, all those practices. Then we do the 
jnana yoga study circles where we study scriptures, inquire what is the purpose of life, who am I, what to do that. So all these three is developing like this is beautifully said, Swami says EHV, education, human values. EHV is, Swami said beautifully, three HV. What are those three? Head, heart and hands. So you develop the head through the jnana yoga. So just inquiry, self-inquiry. And heart through bhakti yoga. Just that fill your heart with love. Love for God, love for all. That's why love thy God with all thy heart, soul, mind and strength. Love thy neighbor as thyself. So it is you not only love God, then you see that you love yourself and love the whole creation. That is the uh, path. So you need to have that intense uh, love for uh, God. So that is because once you have that, even you don't need to worry about getting jnana. Actually, one time I asked Swami, because Lord Krishna says one time, so because path of inquiry is not easy, it is difficult, it looks dry, who am I, who am I, after all, said, what is this, who am I? So that's why they sort of said, I think I shared this, Bhagavan Ramana Maharshi was there, somebody said, came Swami, really is a sincere seeker, what is the way, Swami, how to do Bhagavan, what is the way? He says, the way you came. That guy man, got so sad. This Swami says, the way you came, that means get out. So that Pyarsan said, yeah, you don't understand, Bhagavan Ramana. All of us, the way we came is from God. So the way you came, you go back to God. So that is what he is telling. So, so the, the, I asked Swami, there's one place Lord Krishna says, Tesham satata yuktanam bhajatam priti purvakam Dadami buddhi yogam tamye namapayantate. People who really satatrika always bhajatam priti who worship me, they dedicate their life for me with love. Dadami buddhi yogam, I will give them jnana. I will give them like you have want to see here some microbes maybe there. Can you see them? No, you need microscope, right? They are there, but you cannot see. Similarly, there may be planets, they're there, you cannot see them, you need a telescope. Similarly, you need a jnana scope. So God will, I says, I will give you the jnana if you really complete pure love. That is why the people like Mirabha, Tyagraj, they had that. So I said, Swami, then I, because it's path of self-inquiry is hard. So the, you said you'll give the buddhya to way to worry about it. So can, is it true? Then he said, yes, but you should have that kind of intense faith and love that, yes, I have this love for God. I have faith that he can do that. If you have that uh, co conviction and commitment, God will uh, give you that. So this is the path. That's why we have this path of head, head you develop through that, heart you develop with love, hands use in the serving the society. That way all the three, head, heart, and ha hands, you remember, head in this self-inquiry, heart filling with love, and hands, society. That is why Swami, another place said, you should have a head of Shankara, Adi Shankara, head, and heart of a Buddha, because Buddha was full of compassion, and hands of Janaka. Janaka is the great king, but he knows how to do the service without any attachment. He ruled the kingdom with zero attachment. Even though he was a king, he was never attached to that thing. So that is the head of Shankara, heart of Buddha, and hands of uh, Janaka. So when we develop that, then we get rid of that. So I think we're almost time up. So I don't know whether you have any questions. If not, we'll conclude there. Yeah. Dharma of fire is to burn. It burns irrespective of the situation. Everything in nature follows dharma by default. Why aren't human beings created that way? How to ensure we also follow dharma by default like fire? <laughs> so uh, our dharma is atma dharma. Because the thing is we are misidentification. That is the problem. We already said why we are not following it. Because of the, God didn't create us to forget our dharma. These because of these various impurities, agitations and ignorance, we forgot our real dharma. So that is why it is nothing like we 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 forgot. It is not we are always dharmic. That is why the beautiful bhajan, remind me, like my Lord, remind me who I am. It doesn't make, oh, make me Lord, divine, make me dharma. Remind me who I am. 
because uh, truth you forgot about it the whole thing is about spirituality is we are always that we are always blessed we are always ananda we are always pure but we forgot and meanwhile you uh, acquired that this is what you are you forgot who you are like that there's a beautiful thing about there is a story of Paramananda Shishya and Telugu movie nice used to be. <laughs> there was there were some Shishyas there were nine people uh, there, there no ten people they were going together and then they cast the thing and then uh, when after casting they want to oh, maybe, maybe somebody is lost in the thing let us count ourselves so all, all of us there then he goes and counts hey we are only nine again another one comes okay no no you don't know how to go let me come and they all go on counting and then say, say, one person is missing. They go on crying, oh my God, one of our friends gone, one of our friends gone. Then there's a man comes and says, okay, wait, wait, you all stand there. He can, one, two, three, but <laughs> ten. Oh, ten is there. So oh, they were happy. So never there was any missing. So this man is like a guru, teacher shows, hey, what you are missing is, you are already you are there. You forgot you are there and you are... C uh, crying unnecessarily. This is why Gosan telling, don't grieve. So know that you are always there. You forgot you existed. Just we, we need, whole thing is reminding our true nature. That's what Lord Krishna says. So in answer to that, so just our dharma is not gone. We forgot our dharma. That's all. And just here the great masters come us to uh, teach the dharma. Okay, we'll continue next week.